Hi guys, it's me Anne from Geeks of Green and today I will talk about five plants that have really surprised me in the year 2022. Now in 2022, there have been a lot of challenges that even I face towards the end of the year. I couldn't care for my plants as I would like to. So a lot of things went out of hand, but there were some plants that really thrived and really surprised me, made me very happy. And uh, uh, that is why I want to list down these plants. And I hope that the new year gives us all good health. And uh, I myself uh, hope that I am able to take care of my balcony much better. I have set some goals. I hope that I can achieve them. So anyway, wishing you all a very happy new year since we're in the first month of the year. Uh, I hope you all do well in all your endeavors. So the first plant that I would like to list down is the Anthurium Magnificum Crystallinium Hybrid that I have right here. When you look at it the first glance, you see that these leaves are really not doing well. They scorched up and all that uh, because of my lack of care. So this is entirely on me. But I'm talking about how the plant surprised. You can see the size of this leaf. Um, though it is damaged all over here, this is the first time it's given me such a huge leaf. Look at it in comparison to the size of my palm. So it's really big though there is damage. Uh, this plant has really surprised me and it has been doing well even without my care. So I really intend to uh, top up the soil and fertilize this plant a little bit more, give it more water more frequently and take care of it more. So this plant is definitely one that has surprised me. So the next plant that I would like to list down is the Anthurium Posto Mirande. I didn't do anything for this plant since I've got it. I've just hung it right there and it has been doing well. Now if this plant is really taken care of and really loved, I'm sure the leaves will grow really huge, really big and it'll be uh, something really beautiful. So I'm looking to put more efforts into this plant. It's a simple looking plant but it's got gorgeous leaves and it needs a lot of space so it spreads out uh, if it gets everything that it wants. It needs a little bit more light so I've hung it towards the open space that is there in my balcony. There's a little light coming in from there. Uh, not in the winters. I'm waiting for the winters to completely end so there'll be more light entering my balcony. With every new year, we make a bunch of resolutions to get better at some skill or change some habit. If taking better care of your skin is on your list, I have good news for you. This is the Wilward Milk Drops Brightening Serum. It is a daily brightening serum which has the goodness of plant-based alpha arbutin, extract of marine algae from France, rice milk extract and hyaluronic acid. The marine algae helps in decreasing melanin production, ensuring even toned skin within three weeks. The rice milk extract brightens skin and reduces the appearance of dark spots. Hyaluronic acid, as you know, boosts skin hydration and improves the skin barrier. It is a very light formula and easily absorbs and penetrates deep into the skin without leaving any residue. It is suitable for all skin types as well. Vilva is a brand that's proudly Indian and its story can be described as a perfect harmony between Mother Nature's bountiful ingredients and future-forward clean technology. Their products contain no sulfates, no silicones, no parabens, no artificial fragrances, no glycols and no GMOs. It hasn't been tested on animals as well. You should really try out their products for yourselves and feel the difference and be part of an initiative that makes a difference. You can use my code GEEKDEC to get a 20% discount from Vilva's official website. Only the first 500 people to use this coupon will get this discount. So hurry, use the link in the description to get yours right away. The next one that I would like to list down that has thrived in spite of neglect is the Peperomia Angulata. This plant has really surprised me. It has not shown any signs of distress since I've got it, no matter what. It's been growing steadily. It's a slow growing plant, but uh, it is growing. There's a lot of new growth. As you can see, these are all new shoots. They're all uh, glossy. The older ones are a little more leathery. You can see that it's also right now blooming. 
these are its blooms it's a very sturdy plant to my surprise no pests no nothing no trouble at all so this one has really surprised me and i would definitely recommend this one uh, as a hardy plant and a plant that doesn't need much care if you look at it it is a very pretty plant it's got really dainty leaves and uh, the leaves all grow close together on the vine and uh, the leaves are also very pretty they have these lines that look like watermelon so it looks very similar to the peperomia argyria uh, that's a little bit difficult to care for but this one is very easy to care for so if you're looking for an alternative this one's really good i would definitely recommend it the next plant that surprised me is the begonia mesoniana i thought that actually when i bought it i thought that it is a pretty delicate plant and it might not survive but it has been just surviving just happily growing throwing new leaves it's remained small but nothing has happened to it so this is one plant that i would definitely definitely list down i thought it would die uh, especially with the uh, the kind of neglect that happened in the in the last few months of 2022 but this one just seemed to keep growing and pushing on now let's just wait and watch if it survives the hot summer months and i am keeping my fingers crossed and hoping that it really really stays with me for a very long time so this one is the next plant that i would list down the fifth plant it's an alocasia silver dragon alocasias have never thrived with me uh, probably because i don't have enough light and also i cannot maintain the humidity with this plant but this one has just been growing it's a very old one but uh, it came back from the dead and uh, it kind of is got now around five leaves this one is a new one and i have a feeling that it's doing really well under my best work grow light so i've kept it over there and this plant is getting enough light and probably enough humidity over there in the corner so it has been growing steadily and i'm really surprised because i've never had an alocasia growing so much this i consider a lot because i don't have any luck with alocasias at all this one has definitely thrived and survived and i hope it does i do not expect much from this plant because i know when conditions are not right it will go into dormancy so i am okay with it just the thing is that when it's growing it makes me really happy i can see that uh, it's beginning to get a mealy bug infestation so i have to get to getting rid of that uh, now if you look at the leaves of this plant it's really beautiful you can see the mealy bugs here right here it's a leathery thick leaf with uh, a silver coating on it that's why it's called the silver dragon and the under undersides have this beautiful uh, veining pattern which is in red it makes it look really really cool undersides as well so i really like this plant but i had kind of given up on it but it's growing so i'm happy we as gardeners have our highs and lows there are times when we are very passionate about the hobby and we are putting in our best sometimes we dip down and there are lows that we experience because life puts its uh, difficulties before us there are a lot of things to put us down there is pressure there's work there's health but plants thrive they survive and you can always go back to them you can always have another chance with them so if you are experiencing what i'm experiencing i hope 2023 is a happy gardening year where we our plants are thriving and we are involved in this hobby as much as we can so wishing you all the best i hope you like this video i hope it encourages you to get back to your plants if you have lost track or lost touch with them and i hope to see you soon in another video till then stay green